at this point of the process, if you followed through all of the different capsules that we've been doing together, you've gone and found your market leaders by using business directories. Uh, you found industry information through the different systems that we have at the library. You've also found uh, market information and consumer information, spending information from, uh, from library sources and a few other web sources actually sprinkled here and there. Now, you're well on your way to having a complete picture of what's happening, but you may still be missing a little bit of information, which is where articles and books come in. Because honestly, if you start the research process with a checklist of facts that you want to find, you may spend hours and hours and hours searching and never finding what you need. A better strategy is to sit down, go through the various steps that I've showed you so far, and grab everything that you can. Put it on a table and then evaluate what you have. Don't start making assumptions about how you're going to write your paper before you've started finding some bits of information. It makes life so much easier. I get too many people coming to me and saying, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> coming to me and saying, I'm looking for this very specific list of information. I need the number of people who've bought, a, a, you know, hats and spending on hats and all. I mean, stop, okay? Go through the steps that I've showed you. Find whatever you can about hat makers, hat consumption, spending patterns. You may not get the level of detail that you want, but that's what you have to use. You're stuck with that because information is expensive to produce. If governments don't have it, if trade associations don't have it, if individual companies don't have it, if market researchers don't have it, and researchers and journalists don't have it, then who has it? Even if they do have it, they may or may not have an incentive to give you access to it, okay? So here's my point. Don't spend hours looking for the little tidbit that you wish you had. Take an hour, 45 minutes, two hours, eh, about that, going through the systems that I've highlighted, maybe looking at other systems that are listed on the database page on the library website, and see if you can find what you need or interesting information that allows you to build a model that is usable in your paper. Because you may not be able to get that magic silver bullet piece. If you do find it, you're happy, you're done, go on. But if you don't, you have to make do with what you have, okay? And I can't make up information magically. Probably if you contact all the hat makers in the world, you'll be able to get that, but they may not want to tell you, and probably they haven't if it's not available in one of the systems, market research or government or otherwise, right? So that's that's a little bit of general advice about, about doing any kind of business research is, yeah, yeah, you can wish, but sometimes it's just not available, or sometimes it just doesn't exist, or people who have it don't want to tell you, and that's just part of life, and doing business research, or it's secret or anything like that.